Hey guys, I'm back. Now we're just gonna roll T3 over here. I can't open this at all, it's impossible. You're gonna need to go to like some kind of console or something to turn that off. Alrighty, we're gonna call up energy system schematics. Open emergency hatch on Paragus administration level. Log out. And kakao. T3 just got blast. That was a blast, man. T3 is like he just got blasted by something. That was a huge blast, like bang. Came out of nowhere. Any time now. So is that stupid droid of yours gonna come through or not? It give him a little more time. Well, I'm beginning to think I was a little <coughs> better off in my... Beeping from the console. The turbo lifts has been opened. Hey, what do you know? A little cargo cylinder came through. It looks like it, but it's strange. He didn't contact us on the comm. If he got the turbo lifts working, then we should have a clear run to the hangar. The turbo lifts are locked down manually, so I had him open the emergency hatch. Uh, wait, wait. Don't tell me you're taking that hatch down into the mining tunnels. Are you? That explosion I heard came from below. There's probably nothing down there except superheated rock and collapsed blast tunnels. You'd be an idiot to go down there. Maybe, but it's the only way out. It's a it's better ri it's better I risk my life than yours. You're either really brave or really crazy. Or both. Um, I am both. I'll try to monitor things from up here. And be careful. The only thing moving down there is likely to be mining droids. Uh not that I care what happens to you or anything. I just don't want to be trying to get off this rock by myself. Got it. See you soon. I'll keep the comm link open. I may be able to guide you through the tunnels from up here. Don't know if the signal will hold if you get too deep, though. You have received a comm link. Party members or others may use it to contact you if you to help you or provide information. Lots of points, guys. Swear, so awesome. This is an awesome game. Awesome game. We'll use my speed boost to get there very fast. And I cannot wait until I get burst of speed. Luckily on Nazi the Old Republic 1, there was... First there was burst of speed and night speed. On here, it's burst of speed, night speed, and then master speed. Awesome. Isn't it? Swear. Check out that purple stuff. Can you read me? Yes, for a minute I thought you and you and Kraya were telepathic. What did you say? Your signal's crammed with static. There's a lot of interference down there, probably caused by that explosion. Still, it looks like there's a route down to the Paragus fuel depot. If the passages haven't collapsed, that explosion knocked out most of the sensors. There should be an emergency crate in the next room. Watch yourself. There's a lot of droid broadcasts in that area, but I can't pin them down. I'll be careful then. If you detect anything, signal me. Will do. And be careful down there. Open this thing, guys. And then you get... Let's see. You get a med pack, you get some survey gear, a telos mining shield, safety, harness, and a miner uniform. Finally, we got some clothes. I just want to let you guys know, I will be keeping this, but I will be keep... But I will put it on another, um... Uh... A, a party member in the future. Find the emergency supplies? Well, because I'm gonna use him as on a jet. I'm gonna use him as a Jedi uniform for him because he can't wear like uh, you know Jedi uniforms. Yes, and there's some clothes. Oh, Looks like there's some mining gear and a uniform. About time. The whole half naked Jedi thing was wearing a little thin. <laughs> but there may be some survey gear and a safety harness inside the crate too. The miners wear them when staking claims on the asteroids. The survey gear is designed to spot and protect you against sonic mines. And the safety harness can be helpful if you try to disarm them. Understood, let me see. Understood, anything else? Uh, just one more thing. I've narrowed down some of the ID signals, and if the numbers are right, you're sharing those tunnels with a battalion of mining droids. Can I sneak by them? You could, if you have the skill in a stealth <coughs> Primarily to detect fuel deposits. The good thing is, 
That explosion down there kicked up so much heat and steam it may blind them. A bit, but not much. I'll do that. Anything else? There's gotta be some central controller down there. See if you can find a terminal by the main access shaft. That'd be governing intelligence. Go to this broken droid. Get the components and parts. Come over here. Open up. Take the components and parts. Not even going to reactivate that. That would be a waste of parts. Okay, guys. Now, those maintenance droids right over there, it's starting to piss me off. You know what they do? If you guys don't kill them in, like, one hit, then that maintenance droid will, like, reveal their health. They really, they really piss you off. So, I'm going to walk over to it. He's flurry. It'll cause a giant explosion. And if there are some enemies around you, it'll hurt them. A little bit. Not that much. Go to the corpse, get the stuff out of there. Alright guys, that thing is full of heat, so I'm gonna have to... Hey, watch out. That explosion has superheated the tunnels ahead. That steam will cook the skin off your bones. If you can find a mining energy shield, switch it on. It should protect you against the heat, if you move quickly enough. Understood. Last 0 5 out. Go fast before I d Watch die. Where you step. I'm picking up a lot of sonic mines down there. Don't run unless you have to. If you have any skill with demolitions, you might be able to recover them and use them against the droids. If you have survey gear or a safety harness, put them on. They'll make spotting and disarming the sonic charges a little easier. Understood. Last L5 out. Alright guys, I'll see you in next part. Later.